Could we be close to finally seeing a solution to the border crisis? Arizona Senator Kirsten Sinema helped negotiate a bipartisan package that she believes would secure our broken border. So would the bill, what would the bill do if it were in effect today? 12 News journalist Bram Bresnik is taking a close look at the key pieces. Bram? At Korea Bay, Congress has failed to take meaningful action on immigration in decades. Will this time be different? If this package becomes law, the pictures we've been seeing at the border would look very different. Let's look at two pieces of the sweeping immigration bill that independent Senator Kirsten Sinema helped negotiate and answer one persistent question. Scenes of record mass crossings in the Arizona desert have been a daily occurrence. Under the legislation, those days would end fast. As soon as it's implemented, we will quickly hit that 5,000 mandatory uh, trigger. Gregory Chen of the American Immigration Lawyers Association says if border crossings averaged 5,000 a day for a week, all crossers, even asylum seekers, would be removed immediately under a new border expulsion authority. It will stay in effect because I think the numbers of encounters will stay high. What about the busloads of migrants that have overwhelmed cities thousands of miles from the border? Chen says they keep coming, but cities would have help. One of the things that's uh, built into the bill is funding to provide temporary assistance to cities in the interior or at, in border regions uh, that are receiving more migrants. And a persistent question from critics on the right. Why can't President Biden get control of the border on his own? The fact is that uh, the president uh, does not have the power to shut down the border uh, and block all asylum seekers. President Trump tried to do this during his term, uh, and it was stopped in course. And the outlook for the legislation is still cloudy. Here in Arizona, local Republican elected officials and business groups support the bill. But in D.C., House Republican leadership says it's dead on arrival. Over in the Senate, Democratic Majority Leader Chuck Schumer says the bill will go to a vote Wednesday, but even Senate Democrats are divided over the bill's fate. Let's send it back to you.